Well, despite some ups and downs and what should have been a break for ASU, it was Utah stepping out of town with a nil-nil draw on the road against a team at the number 18 spot in the RPI, ASU. Now, when you look at how Utah started out, they were outshot dramatically in the first half. Not, though, without Kelly Bullock with her best effort. Four shots, two on goal overall. One of the most prolific scores in the nation is Nicole Douglas. She, of course, led the nation in scoring last year, has nine goals this year. Ended up with six shots, two on frame. None of them, though, busted in and got inside of the net. Some physical play at the 63rd minute. Freshman defender out of San Diego, as you can see, with whether it's intended or not, the, the pull down from behind from the hair. Kerry Matthews went down a red card. They would play on the final 27 plus minutes. And despite that, Utah had their chances. They actually outshot ASU when it was all said and done 16 13. Pauline Nellis ended up with nine saves. Gabby Rennie. Thought maybe she could slip that one by just outside the goal that time. And that's how things would come to an end. The offense was quiet. Casey Wardle, Utah, outstanding. She had five saves. Her third shutout, Pauline Nellis, had nine saves and her second of the year. Shocking, right? 16-13, the shots on goal, 9-5. And of course, the fouls, ASU with a very physical match, certainly, but couldn't take advantage playing the latter part of the game with the player on top of Utah. So a big road draw, if you will, for the Utes on the road. And until next time, Pac-12 soccer, just loading up the top of the RPI and hopefully the NCAA tournament. I'm Darren Sutton. See you soon on campus again soon.